Hey, this is, of course, a car in the background, but this is Dusty Showers from the second basement, and we are here at Gunther's, who's uh, joining us over on the side. We had just had the most amazing fundraiser ever. It was awesome. We're in the lovely and beautiful uh, town of Comfort, Texas, and I'm here with my friends. Say your name, Eden. My name is Eden Lackey. <laughs> Jim Allercamp. And Brianna Allercamp. Now, normally on my fireside chats, I give you a recap of my day. I want to do something a little bit different. So, my day today was I rode my bike with Jim about 15 miles to uh, into Comfort from Bourne, Bernie, Bernie, <laughs> Texas, <laughs> and uh, we had some great back roads. Had a flat like right away, but we got it taken care of. And uh, Jim accompanied me on my ride, and uh, I want to just kind of share with you guys what they're doing, what they're going through. So this is not so much about a recap of my day, but their relationship and everything. So, uh, Bree, what's your story? Well, we found out, we got married in April of this year, and then probably, it's about a month later, I had woken up Memorial Day weekend and had some pain in my left breast. Started feeling around because it didn't feel right, felt a lump, and you know, just didn't feel right, so I went to the doctor and they did a biopsy and found out that I did have breast cancer. And since then I've uh, had a double mastectomy, reconstruction, and my first round of chemo, which uh, definitely took it out of me last week, but I'm doing much better this week. And just keep fighting and keep smiling and moving forward. And I, I rode bikes with Jim today and we got to talk a little bit about him. And I've, I was so impressed with with his attitude through it all. And you got anything to add? Yeah, you know, uh, the one thing uh, me and Bree both said at the very beginning was uh, we want to help other people through our experience, uh, mainly because he has helped us so much through her experience. And one thing we, we really want to reiterate is, uh, you know, Bree was 27 years old when she was diagnosed. So uh, anytime you feel something out of the ordinary, you know, don't hesitate. Um, a lot of people or doctors want to say it's nothing when you're younger, but uh, you know your own body and uh, definitely, you know, uh, if you feel it needs to be checked out further, go for it, you know, and, and uh, just make sure you get it checked out. That's the main thing we want to reiterate, especially so, at a young age. So you were yeah. 27? Yes, I was and 27. Eden, how old were you? I was 32 when I was diagnosed. Yeah, so when, when I talk to girls and I say, you know, it's important to, to understand your breasts and your the health and everything, and you look at me and you go, um, I'm too young to have breast cancer. And I say, no, you're not. These are, are two perfect examples. And, and unfortunately, I've met women even younger than them that have been affected with it. But I wanted to have all of them there because I, I know you guys now through Eden. And you guys kind of have a sisterhood now. We're right? besties. Yes, They're besties for life. We're not besties. <laughs> we're besties. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and, and you told me you know, about them as well, but what do you have to add? Well, um, you know, I went to school with Jim, and we kind of grew up together, and when I found out that Bree had cancer, I wanted to do everything I could to help her get through, because it's hell, and um, it makes everything that I went through worth it, and if I had to do it all over again, I would, if I could help just one person. And just knowing that she's doing good and she's fighting like a champ is just awesome. Well, I definitely could not do it without the love and support of all my friends and family, that's for sure. And definitely, you've been a godsend for me. So, so there, there's really two things out of that. that you, you have to have a strong support network. And then when you're diagnosed, I've always believed that, that the best thing you can do when you go through diagnosis is when you're feeling well enough is to help somebody else. And, and we've been through that in my organization where I've said if somebody has breast cancer and they say we want to help you, we don't say why don't you, why don't you get better. We say we're going to find something for you to do because that, that really is the, the best way to, to make yourself feel better. Yeah, that's and, so true. It yeah. is. So I, I'm, I'm grateful that for the time that we spent together. Thank you. It really oh, means a lot. you got to talk about the bra auction. Duh, I'm not done yet. Hurry, I can't wait. <laughs> I've got a lot of words coming out wait. of your face hole. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're here at, at Gunther's, which, Casey, do a quick pan around, please. I know you're professional and everything, but this, you know.
All right, so we're at Gunther's. We have, uh, I mean, all of us are in bras. There were incentives to wear bras. And so everybody comes out. I have my special Texas bra on. So, <laughs> so, so now I have my Texas bra on. Next, what do I want? I need a belt buckle. A belt buckle. I am going to <laughs> get a belt. one of these. Yeah, I'm going to get one of these. So we, we're having the auction and everything. And um, we got a bra back in Beaumont, Texas from, um, from Tori and Hooters. It was an awesome bra. All the girls signed it. And uh, Bobby was wearing it out here, and he wore it well. He did. Oh, yeah. he really I, did. I fall short of saying he was hot, but he wore it well. <laughs> so somebody offers him a hundred bucks for it, and asks me if you know we figure out if I'll take a hundred for it. And I, I winced a little bit. I said, well, you know, okay, we could use the money. That guy said, but I don't want the bra. I want you to auction it off. So we turned out to to auction that bra, and it started. We were bidding it up, bidding it up, and then. We gave it away, and then there was some controversy over it. We're in Texas, so I don't want guns to come out. But we got it figured out. We re-auctioned. It was all in fun. And then Gunther says, I'm going to sweeten the deal and throw in a couple steak dinners. We're in Texas. Steak dinners are serious it's business. Big, big Especially deal. Gunther's. It's the best steak you'll ever eat. Tell Comfort you what. Texas, Gunther's. So the price starts going up. Gunther says, you know what? I'm going to put two more steak dinners down there. So the price of that bra goes up. I think the final price was like five hundred and four. It, it was about five hundred bucks. Yeah. One of my bras. <laughs> so, so Tori, if you see this, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, this was really it, it's, it was such a fun event tonight. I love being in Comfort Texas. I wish I could spend more time here. And uh, so these are the stories of my friends, and uh, that's why we need your support at the second basement. I'm heading out to Junction tomorrow. I think it's approximately 70, 80 mile bike ride, and uh, I'm really starting to get a, a knack of the uphill. Uphills. Oh yes. Yeah, which I'm oh, good with that. I'm good with that. Hill country for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the heat's starting to dry out, and um, and it's it's feeling good. So. Um, Support second basement, please. We need your help so that we can help uh, women and families diagnosed with breast cancer. It, it's very, very important. And uh, so as I continue my bike ride across the country, I urge you to check out secondbasement.org. Bring your friends and family and um, come along for the ride. So from Comfort, Texas and Gunther's. Say goodnight, Casey. Goodnight, Casey. Good night, Casey.